<laughs> All, right, All right, Sam. We don't have enough time to ask how Bree knows so much about monkeys in person, so <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just jump right on into the forecast here. 40s from Woodland Park, or 30 actually in Woodland Park, 37 to 42 in Monument, then 46 in Pueblo, 54 Trinidad, and out towards 60 into the plains. Now, later on today, we will actually get quite warm, despite how much cloud cover there is around, especially to the eastern plains. 88 in La Junta, 89 Lamar, and if you live in the mountains later today, going to be in the 70s, and this is probably a little bit better area to see some of those isolated thunderstorms. Now, Colorado Springs, I still have only a 20% chance of storms, which keep in mind, this means we have an 80% chance of staying dry. And a lot of our modeling is suggesting, yes, we'll be completely beautiful, very dry today. But with the warmth, with the energy coming in, I can't not give us a chance for an isolated little thunderstorm. Wednesday through the rest of the week, we do look good, but Wednesday is kind of the first start of a chance for some higher fire danger because we're going to see the winds pick up. It'll be warm and dry, gusts to 20 to 30 miles per hour and fire danger stays elevated tomorrow, but then it really gets going again through the rest of the week as those temperatures increase. Now, Pueblo, even higher fire danger. Tomorrow it's there, but through the week, Thursday into the weekend, we will likely see some red flag warnings, and that will mean some weather alert days try to come our way. That's just us being prepared, let you know if anything is out there you need to worry about. Canyon City has a small chance, not as good as Pueblo or Colorado Springs, but hopefully you see a little shower creep on by just to get you some moisture before we settle in for that long and dry stretch. Finally, Woodland Park feeling good here. 70 today with a 20% chance of storms, then mid-70s back through the weekend. 